Hey guys, I'm doing a little quick video on all the side quests for the White Orchard region of Witcher 3. So there's only four of them that I'm aware of. If you guys know any other ones, just tell me down in the comment section below. But uh, this is the first of the four, and it's basically just making the Swallow Potion, which is not a bad option for whenever you're first starting out in the game. Um, just a little bit more motivation to get you started with it. So in order to make the Swallow Potion, you need three components. You need the Drowner Brain, which can be dropped from any drowner. A good place for those is near the Ransack Village and the main village in White Orchard. I forget the name right now. But anywhere along the shoreline there, there should be a couple of groups of drowners. So just kill those until you find one. Then you'll need one Dwarven Spirit, which can usually be found uh, by any merchant. You can buy it from them or find it in a uh, cache or treasure chest, etc. And then the final ingredient is selenine. Good guy, girl. And uh, a good place for this is actually outside the herbalist hut. So as soon as you talk to her, you can go talk to, uh, or not talk to, but go gather from right outside her hut and find all the uh, selenine that you'll need for the swallow potion. Looking for buckthorn. I don't know if it grows anywhere around here. Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar, something, something. Ah, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. He seems like a pretty stand-up guy for what I know of him, so... Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Oh god. Alright, so after you find the actual ingredients for the potion and concoct it, uh, come back to the hut and talk to her again. And basically, when you have the dialogue option, you'll say, yes. wait for it, got a potion for Lena, got a potion for which Lena. will complete the quest Swallow. after the dialogue. First sign of spring, symbol of rebirth, fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately, but I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Alright, for this uh, quest right here, whenever you go see the, or get the Buckthorn for the Griffin quest, you're more than likely going to run into her. She's on the uh, shoreline right next to where you'd go get the Buckthorn at. And she has a quest for you to go break inside the house and retrieve a pan for her. Oh, it's like a uh, tangled. That's all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. Hey, must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Just staring at me 
you can like a magpie at a coppers. Lend it to me, Gran, or give it back a morn. Battles for what we doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? At four dawn, another rose up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. For old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I do know what fell. With me empty brain, bring an old widow or pan. I could never break down that door myself. But to be true, I never thought to go in any hurt. Such a stench wafting out. Me against the other fellow. Well, they was alone in the end. Never taken on. I guess I can act. Help, I guess. Go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. All right, so now you've talked to her. Using the art sign, you're gonna break down the door, which will update the quest for you. you walk inside, and off to the a side, corpse. you'll see it. Explains the stench. His down throat. The door. He was garroted, and some old I do scars. Apologize for the uh, kind of soldier audio. might have. The thing I don't like about Witcher What's 3 so much, theory? despite the fact that it's nothing, a fantastic nothing. game. Is sometimes they can't really throat. tell what you're looking at. He was so those and some old scars. And I ended up a soldier might have. So I apologize but when throat. I gab to me, he was garroted. They say I'm going bar. And some old scars. Pan, have you? And a soldier and might have. Go Good luck. Then you walk back into the kitchen area. You can examine uh, the frying pan. The priceless frying pan. The dialogue will happen, huh. and then you'll scrub it clean once you go talk to her again. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it. To make ink, write letters. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Fry up a nice white fish for some. Or a pipe. Alright, so next up is a quest for you to find Dune Vildenberg, which this quest comes from the notice board within the main city in White Orchard. So if you haven't been there yet, just hop over there and you'll find it pretty easily. Continue on from the hut on the shoreline where you complete the last quest. I uh, top in Roach, and you can follow my Come path on, Roach. There. But if you just have the marker, or the natural marker from the quest, well, you should be in the right way. So I don't, I don't imagine you get terribly lost. Well. That's it, Roach. Damn, dear, stick the bark up the trees again.
Go, go. Alright, so now you've ruined all this way. And you'll find him on the outskirts of this ruined village. He's sitting there with his dog. Go talk to him and that'll initiate the main sequence of the quest. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But, I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But... I want to find his body at least, so Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Come on now. Now we've reached the main area. You have to wait a bit for the guy to show up because he was running the whole way in the wrong course back. So eventually you run into this field here once he shows up. Uh, there's about four ghouls over here you have to fight. Come on! Shields like this, red, red outline around it. Turns out one of the shields you need to do. Come on, Hassar! Can you smell fight. Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. And of course, they're all located in the golden ring on the mini map. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire that did that. After several shields, the Hussar's caught so his scent! Come on! And all looking at the same. To follow him into the woods. It's a lot easier to use your Witcher senses in some cases. His name tag is on the So then you follow him and find the boy Jack in the woods. Where it's revealed that he's but there been alive is more. this whole time. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. 
ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here. Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilfgaardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to my side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosin here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. Alright, this is the final quest, as far as I know, within the White Orchard. Eventually, as you follow along this path, you'll find this kind of uh, T intersection in the path, and this merchant guy will be sitting here on this log. What happened? You talk to him, monsters, try the quest, and you go to his wagon and some Folks supplies. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember. I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. So now that you've talked to him, you've been on this whole path down here. To find where the carriage went off the road and into the swamp. Swamp? The swamp. A swamp, or a bog, or a marsh, whatever you prefer. So the past me, who was actually playing at this time, had the foreknowledge of where the carriage was, which leads to this mistake here of not being able to update the quest because I went too far ahead. I am very embarrassed for past me. I do apologize for him. Alright, now he's going to his mistake. He has to go back to the road and we'll find where the carriage tracks are. When I was going too far, he has to turn back. I'm so embarrassed right now. But I don't feel like editing this out. Wait for it. There we are. So this Cartridge. is where the uh, carriage goes off into the swamp. swamp. Following these, it kind of gives you a good direction of where the carriage is in the swamp. Simply continue forward a bit. Everything's in the. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. Going straight off from where the I should take a look around. Carts riddled with arrows. Wagon, the arrow that's in the horse, and the arrow that's in the guy's neck. He's off a little bit in the distance. Once you do all that, we'll update the quest and have to find the box. 
The box is a tricky one just because it's so small. It's pretty easy to find. An arrow. Didn't mention this. Although I will say, past me had trouble finding it. Square but in the I neck. Out all the Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory so problems, or he's lying. So you see where I am on the mini map now. It's Must be there. that it's box he mentioned. Box, no Splattered with it's blood. Human, barrel, right? human blood. Oh, and you find the box. So you come back to him. You had to call him out on his lies. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps. And never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. So he's now making a break for it. Hop on road. Hope it'll be faster than I can. We should not have any trouble at all. Yeah, he's a nice I want to say that all oh. the guys are side line. What that's because I still want to be a piece of filth. So, no, you can try to Take your sword and give him a quick Take it easy. Well, it cuts into play. You think he's dead? Uh, this item for about half a second. Right there. Gotta get him out of here. But then, it'll cut to this. Wh Wake up. He's all fine. See? Can't run from the truth. Dialogue? Not even on a horseback. Now who are you, and why do you attack the- Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for and a free. And you are given a short, uh, well, not so much a short, but a few options uh, about what you want to do with him after that. And you came to the Nilf Guardians. You can go, but I'm way. keeping the medicine. Or you can keep the medicine. Nilf Guard will find you and kill you anyway. Nice Why should it go to waste? Take it I, I and choke on it. So now you've completed all four quests for the White Orchard storyline. Thank you guys so much for watching. True, what if you guys have any comments or anything I missed, uh, please put in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys like the content. And have a wonderful day. I really appreciate it.